just broke the door. Get out of the car. Get out. For what? On your stomach. For what? For what? I bet you love how crazy the traffic stops get in these videos, and today's compilation is full of the most instant traffic stops of all time. From cop cosplayers being caught to a double whammy of drunk drivers, you won't want to click away from this video. October 13th of 2018, Columbus, Ohio. Police spot a driver who's swerving between lanes. This would prompt a traffic stop, and the driver pulls into a nearby parking lot. It was suspected he was driving under the influence of something. What's going on, man? Uh oh, I was just a bit tired, so I pulled over for a second. I to go to a nap. Okay. You haven't been drinking? No. No, no. I do not. No drugs? No. Here, no, no, no. Hold on, one minute. Where do you live? I'm on the phone. Uh, I live over in Galloway. On Galloway? In Galloway. Oh, Galloway Road. You're having a hard time keeping your eyes open, man. When's the last time you slept? Mm -hmm. It's been about a day and a half, two days. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Why haven't you slept in a day and a half? Uh, I just have a kid. You so have a kid? Mm -hmm. Huh? You, you sure you haven't taken any drugs? Yes, ma'am. Are you I lying mean, to me? Pass. But not today. You, you could. Hey, you're falling asleep talking to me, man. I'm falling asleep. I'm just stressed. Second hand, two caller. Now about 20 minutes ago, a neighbor called and said that three men black 29 vandalized his truck. No black white jacket, no black gray jacket, no description on the third. They also found running in the alley between the What? Eight. I can't hear you. Oh, I apologize. You're what? What? <laughs> what are you saying to me? I can't hear you. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Now I can't remember. Do me a favor, please. Get the keys out of the ignition. Turn your car off. Put the keys on the roof. On the roof? Yep. Alright, stay put. One and four. According to the driver, he had taken drugs in the past, but not any recently, and that he hasn't slept in over a day because he recently had a son. His constant spacing out, mumbling, and the fact that he told someone on the phone that he was on the phone is definitely suspicious. After calling for backup, the officer discovers that the man is overdosed. The officer then calls for a medic and delivers a dose of Narcan. Hey. 194, can you start me a medic as well? He's ODing. Huh? If there's one available. Narcan 
Second dose of Narcan deployed. Copy, second dose of Narcan. Come on, partner, wake up. The officer adjusts the suspect's seat as far back as possible before administering a second and third dose. Meanwhile, additional units and medics arrive. Wake up. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Keep breathing. He was on the phone with his mom. Yeah? Yeah. So we were driving, just trying to get back to 19, and he's all over the road. He pulled in here. He gave me some story about how he was tired. I don't have his name or anything. No. We've given him two doses. Like, not e within the last minute. Just wait like another two minutes. He reacted to the second dose. We got a little bit of this. What nostril did you guys use? We do both. We split half and half. Oh, they still, yeah. Wake up, buddy! He told me he hadn't taken anything when I initially walked up, but I knew immediately he couldn't talk. He was falling asleep talking to me. He was all over the road, which is why we pulled, we pulled over. He'd have died, yep. 81. Yeah, no. He's had six milligrams already. Hey, buddy. Hey. You gave him four? Oh, well then he's had eight. Talk to me. What's your name, boss? Did you guys get an ID on him or anything? Nope, not yet. 2473 West Mound. Color sees a broken window with flash here. He's just not passing by. 
He probably needs this a little bit this more. This was on his passenger seat. <clears throat> so, we're going to match the bus. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to turn to 80. Hey, bud, can you wake up talk to me? Hey. Police locate a syringe in the passenger seat of the vehicle, and it turns out that a total of six milligrams of Narcan was administered to reverse its effects. Finally, to the relief of many, the suspect wakes up. Can you do some heroin? Uh, Rated at 80 for 982. Six milligrams of uh, Narcan woke you up. The needle sitting right next to 982 to 80. I'm still making my way over 20 yeah, guys. Do you want me to come to you or to Grant? You got any wallet or ID, bud? Uh, Grant, what's good? What's your name? Got me ready to stop me. Yep. Brian? Okay. 100. How old are you? 100. 23? Yes, sir, my 38. Regal Cinema is 1800, Regal Square, C. Nicole. Mm -hmm. I got me. Do we have uh, location of where she's at exactly in the lot or the uh, location? I gave him four. So you got four, and then we carry two. two. So I gave him two. And that drug wears off right. that we gave you. You will die. Right. We're you not still in your system. You could die. We're going to the hospital. 100. I just did a call back. I told her to stand out front of the ticket window, and there's the special duty there also. I can't be there, not answering up though. Are you to Regal Cinema Special, badge 413? Right here, partner, have a seat. I'm yeah. taking him to doctors. All right, buddy, your legs are going to swing up. You'll stay sitting up, though. Yeah. All right, what'd you take? I got a chicken one here, it's a party. Yeah, what's in this little cup? It's got the needle in it. Black tar heroin? I'm not able to press it, Colin. Brian, huh? what did you take? I got it. You got the Talk Narcan to fix up. Give it to them. I broke it back down. Oh, okay. I thought you'd already screwed it all together. All right. Okay. 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 The suspect did not receive any charges, but I bet that he was relieved that the officers were there to save his life. October the 15th of 2023. Drunk drivers are a common problem for police to deal with. Their sluggish reaction times and clouded judgments make them less than trustworthy behind the wheel. Here, police pull over a driver after she struck a pole. Officer Perez, can you turn that off, please? I will have you continue to traffic control and you have a block to the north. you have your driver's license registration insurance card? I don't know where it's at. Do you have anything? I do not. I think it's a... You don't have anything with your name on it? A wallet or a debit card? Is this out. your vehicle? Yes. Yeah, Are you the registered owner? Yes, sir. Inquire me. I think she's saying this is my 27 Adam and 40 Adam. What's that? Sorry, on the west side, I need to help 319. Is that okay? There's a card on the floor right there, ma'am. Is that yours? Oh, um, no, no, it's not. I actually have another one. It's not yours? For you. Have you had anything to drink today? You have it? Mr. Shooter underneath your seat. I don't think that's it. That's a video right there. No, ma'am. There's a shooter of alcohol. I'm sorry. Yeah, what? On the right side. Right underneath right behind the right seat. Right here. On the right side. Right in, right behind your right heel. Okay. Can you tell me what happened? Sorry, I do not know what happened. Are you injured? No. So you're telling me you ripped that pole clean out of the ground and you can't even tell me how it happened? No, I don't. And you haven't had anything to drink today? I have not. Take any prescription medication? I have not. You're slurring your words. Your eyes are. You, you have watery eyes. I do not have watery How can you tell me that? You can't even look at your own eyes. I'm looking right at you. I've been doing this. I've been doing this for over ten years. How much have you had to drink today? So you took a pull out of the ground. You can't tell me why. I did not take a pull. Step out of the car. Leave your keys to the vehicle. Leave your keys in the vehicle. They're in your hand. Leave them in the Sorry. vehicle. Put that if it's in your hand in the vehicle. Step right here. 
<clears throat> Are you the registered owner? I am. Okay. Jacqueline? Yes. Hands, hands at your sides. Do you have anything on you? No. <laughs> the suspect was showing all the signs of a drunk driver, like watery eyes, slurred speech, failing to obey simple commands, and not being able to recall something as unforgettable as hitting a pole with her car. The officer remains professional and immediately commences a field sobriety test until something unexpected happens. Hands on your sides. Follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head. Hands on your sides. Follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Keep your feet together. Just like this. Okay? Yes. Follow my finger with your eyes, your eyes only. Don't move your head. Just your eyes. Just your eyes. Keep on moving your head. Sorry. My finger, ma'am. Have a seat. No, 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 hey! Stop! Stop! God Stop! Turn it off! Shut your car off! I am! Shut it off! I'm gonna you out of the car! Shut it off! Dude! You almost hit a car! Get out! Dude, I am! Get out! Get out of the car! Put it in park! It is in park. Get out of the car! It is in park. No, it's not! Three yeah, nine. it was in park. I told you. Go ahead. Just had a drunk driver. Yeah, drunk driver. Hit the side of my car. I'm dealing with another drunk driver, so can you have traffic start him up here, please? Very minor damage on my car. But I need someone to take care of that. Okay, and if you verify you, there's no injuries with you or anyone else? Negative. Negative. Stand up. Alright, is there an available truck? Stand up! Okay, first of all. Get up! No. Just stand up. What are you doing? Stand up. You almost killed her. You almost killed me. You almost killed my dog that's in the car. Because you're, you're drunk. No, I Get over here. No, I am not. Stand right there. Stop. Stay there. What's wrong with your arm? Hey! What's wrong with your arm? No, no, your business. Uh oh, okay. Oh, okay. Get over here. Just walk, man. What's wrong with you? Walk. That's all you gotta do is walk straight. Sit down. Greg, get your insurance, please. Another drunk driver is hurtled onto the scene and has almost run over the officer and the first suspect. The officer yanks the man who is so drunk he can barely stand up straight and immediately arrests him. Do you have insurance? Yes, but I don't want that. So you don't have insurance? I do, but I don't. Go ahead. Are you looking for any car or did that car stop? No, it stopped. It's it came in contact it's with my squad car. It came to rest there as well. And I'll need a squad car to for traffic control on the other side. I had a vehicle already drive through the wires. If you want to take the Dude. south side of it, one twenty three is in a full speed. Full, full yeah, him. Full speed. Look at this. Came to rest. Turned here, was asleep, and thank God, stopped there and rested my car. 
Are you okay? She's good. She has no idea what happened to the pole, though. I'm sorry, say that again. Uh, I'm gonna take her Here, you've been moving your hand just fine. Stand up, man. Oh, really? Yeah, really. I promise you, get up. You don't need you don't need your hands to get up. You have one hand. Just stand up. No. So you're using your bad hand to put it on the ground? No, my bad hand. Sure. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah, but that was like five minutes ago. You're crying now. I know, but I almost got here. I just got. I'm so sorry, but I really can't do it. Yep. Next you got anything on you? Uh, I got two in my... Alright, I'm going to take it out of your pocket. Yep. Anything that's going to... Oh, no, you... Come on, really? Ask everybody the same questions. Then my wallet, well, it was there, but he said it. I could believe that. You about killed him and his partner. No, I did not. Oh, really? I, I, I had to walk over there. Alright, we're getting in my car. Yes, sir. Uh, which is that one right there? Yep. Yep. Alright. Oh, how's your night going? Not good. Well, neither is mine. Yeah, I don't appreciate people that are about to kill cops and their dog. Oh, I no, huh? Yeah, and this other lady. Nope, you're not getting in the driver's side. Oh. No. Preliminary breath test. What's that? Oh, no. I okay. That. Both of the suspects were taken to jail and charged with operating while impaired. Up next, a flak jacket, a bullhorn, and a pimped up ride is not enough to turn an average everyday civilian into a cop. March the 29th of 2020, Castleberry, Florida. A man dressed as a police officer pulls over an off duty cop for what he considered to be dangerous driving. The real cop reported the incident to law enforcement who arrive on scene and speak to the wannabe peacekeeper. How you doing? What's going on? Where are you security at? I work over in Winter Park at Central Place. Uh -huh. I went to the Wawa and while I'm coming, going home, the gentleman flew past me and his car danced. So I thought he might have been intoxicated. I didn't want him to hurt himself. So I blew my horn and I flashed the light and I put my speaker up and I pulled next to him and said, hey, slow down gonna hurt yourself and then I kept on driving and he looked like he started following me so I made a u-turn I think he may have got a road rage or something I'm like I don't want to get into any altercation I just didn't want to hurt himself I made a u-turn and then he kept on following me so I came here to make another u-turn and then when I seen him he was behind me I said well maybe something is wrong because he, he kept following me. I said well maybe something's wrong let me get out and find out and I said hey, when I got out, he said, oh, stay, stay in your vehicle. I said, well, I don't know what the heck's going on at this point. I just didn't want him to get into an accident because, you know, it was doing pretty, you know, pretty fast. And the car kind of did a little fishtail for him. I just didn't want him to get hurt. That's all I are, you, are you retired or anything? Retired? Yeah. Well, I'm past military. No, are you retired law enforcement or anything? Good. Not in the U.S. Not in the U.S. So you've never been to uh, like a DUI school or anything like that to recognize patterns of impairment? No, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go to no DUI school. I just traditionally going home. I just didn't want him to get hurt. It, I was a concerned citizen at this point. That's all it was. I never well, I mean, got out the, the issue, vehicle. issue we have here is you're dressed as law enforcement. You're in a vehicle that's outfitted, outfitted as law enforcement. So therefore, somebody's going to mistake you as law enforcement when you're not but law enforcement. I never enforcement. got out the vehicle. Okay, but usually when a concerned citizen sees mm -hmm. somebody that they believe to be impaired, mm -hmm. 
they call us. But I was they don't on, I was flash actually, lights. I was on the phone at the same time. So what, what lights did you flash? I have my takedowns. So you flashed your takedown yeah. The suspect is wearing a tactical vest that says criminal task force. He also has a silver badge on his chest and a duty belt containing a taser, handgun, and microphone. It's an impressive police cosplay, but despite his supposedly good intentions, impersonating an officer is a serious offense. The firearms in the vehicle? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I work with firearms. Where's your firearm at? It's on my side. All right. You want me to step out? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just step out. Just don't touch it, all right? It's got a signal zero, so we're just going to pull them out. Do you have your, uh, your yeah. permit or anything? Yeah, that's what ID? I'm looking for right now. Yeah, and as I said, I was, he was just going fast, and his car danced a little bit. I mean, he flew past me, so I was like, oh, shoot, something. He's going to get himself hurt out here. So I pulled up next to him. Hey, just, just for our safety, I'm just going to have you put your hands up there. I'm just going to remove your firearm before you put it in the car, all right? Okay. Just put your hands on top. We're done for. You got your ID? You got your Florida driver's license? Yeah, I, I, I can't find it. I think I forgot it. Does. After checking the suspect's ID, they discover that his license is actually suspended, and now he's in even deeper trouble. You got seven suspensions. You can't, what? You, you can't be driving, man. I'll just park so, the car. Well, I mean, we can't. I mean, this has got a lot of stuff in it. I don't want somebody getting into this car. No, so, we need to pull it into the neighborhood right there and park it? Well, that'd be the worst place to park. Well, I live, inside of a neighborhood. I live like three lights down. I mean, it, again, it's it's on you what you want to do with this vehicle, but I highly suggest against it. I would prefer mm -hmm. you call somebody at home that's got a license and y'all take this vehicle to the house. I could do that too. That's the first issue. All right. Second issue under Florida statute, this is textbook impersonating law enforcement officer. All right. I, I was not trying to listen. Mm -hmm. All right. I understand what you're saying. By but the way this vehicle looks, mm -hmm. by the way you're dressed with the insignia. Well, this is the company's uniform. Okay, I understand that. Mm -hmm. But when you try to pull over a citizen, mm -hmm. you know, a citizen would mis mistake this all day for a law enforcement officer. But this looks exactly. I didn't get out, didn't get out okay. or anything. Okay, but you still, on your way home from mm -hmm. work, you, you hit your strobes. According to him, you hit your siren. And you cycle through two different sirens. Right? That's, you can't do that. You're not allowed to impersonate or to, you know, pull, try to do your own traffic stop. Oh, okay. uh, a regular citizen okay. mm -hmm. would call us immediately. We get these calls all the time mm -hmm. about a vehicle they suspect to be in the UI. And we come out, we get behind the vehicle, and because we've been to the schools, we can pick up cues mm -hmm. that would give us probable cause to pull that vehicle over. So before we can even hit our lights, mm -hmm. we have to have probable cause, and we're trained to detect probable cause and determine what probable cause is. You're not, mm -hmm. but you hit your strobes, and according to him, you hit a siren. All right, he thought you were LEO. So, I mean, you're not you're not going to be arrested, but there is going to be charges filed on you. All right, they're going to go to the state attorney, and the state attorney is going to determine what they're going to do from there. All right, mm -hmm. but I mean, you could be arrested on two two separate things tonight. Okay. But one, driving while your license is invalid, mm -hmm. and impersonating LEO. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to arrest you, but you there we're in, you know document the incident, and we're mm -hmm. going to send it up to the state attorney to let them determine. Okay. All right. So if you want to get on the phone, you got your phone with you? Is it in the car? No, I got, I got it. Here. Right, yeah. If you want to get on the phone, get somebody down here. We can get this, you know, vehicle off the road and not park in the neighborhood where it's going to get burglarized. I think I'm that's the best course of action. The suspect would face charges of driving under a suspended license and impersonating an officer. He was sent to jail and eventually bonded out and had to have a partner drive him home in his own vehicle. The moral of the story: keep playing pretend cop at home. June the 12th of 2023, Ferndale, Michigan. 
In this case, police pull over a rather shifty driver who was traveling 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, and once on scene, they assume that he may have been drunk, but as it turns out, he was simply hiding something else. Speed westbound eight mile. Landing up now. Looks like we're stopping in front of the Kroger on West Eight, Wyoming and West Eight. Plate's gonna be zero eight eight Mary six three eight zero eight eight M six three eight. I'll take another car. Jelly, you know why I'm stopping you? Uh, probably that was sliding back there, my four-wheel drive back you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you were sliding back there, and then yeah. the reason for the speed is what? No reason at all. Um, no, okay. No, just, yeah. Is your driver's license? Yeah, driver's license. Yeah. This car registered to you, sir? Yes, sir. I saw it's a manufacturer plate. Yeah. Where's it come back to? Uh, it's still come back to the dealership. The, the dealership? It was recalled my last one. Okay. What dealership did it come back to? I still died on the Farmington. Not Farmington or manufacturer. I'm not sure. No. I know I had a recall in my lab. Gotcha, okay. okay. It's the same problem though, I got the same problem. Right here it says sir, four wheel drive. Okay. So, Nothing in the car I gotta be worried about, right? No, sir. Okay. Make type for me. Okay. The only thing in this situation that's not fake is the suspect's name, as he had given the officer a fake North Carolina license, along with fake insurance information, and his license plate was also fake. You from North Carolina, Bo? Gotcha, okay. Any problem? No, I'm just making sure the VIN matches up, that's it. I'm gonna pop in the door open so I can see the vent. I ain't got it over there. Should be right here on the inside of the door. Yeah. It should have been right here. <laughs> where it should have been. Right? But yeah, they just threw me this one. They said this is something they use this. Oh, okay. Do air and air. So, um, I'm stuck with a foot. It might be fixed. Gotcha. Uh, you have the. Um, you said the. Uh, the what? I don't remember. Uh, some here or nothing? For the VIN? No, the only other place where the VIN would be under. I'd have to check the chassis, but I'm not going under there right now. Oh, okay. we'll, we'll figure it out in a second here. All right, take it When another officer speaks to the suspect and asks him to shut off the car, he immediately turns it back on and tries to bolt away. The first officer latches onto the truck so as not to be dragged and repeatedly tells him to stop. Hey, you have to shut the car, off, shut the car off for me real quick, bud. Oh. Chief, here, take your seatbelt off for me. Okay. Yeah, take it off. Don't take off. Don't, don't take off. Don't do Relax, dude. 
Dude, all listen, right, relax, right. relax, all right, relax, all right, relax, 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 okay, relax, okay, relax, dude, relax, stop it, relax, grab him, grab him, grab him, grab him, hey, stop, dude, listen, listen, relax, listen, gotta go, give us cars, relax, dude, relax. You're gonna get tased! Bro. Relax! Relax! You're gonna get tased, bro! Relax! I don't feel safe, bro. What's okay, up? relax! I don't feel safe, Listen bro. Listen to you, relax! I don't feel safe, Relax! Bro. Okay! I don't feel safe, bro. You gotta stop! You gotta stop! You gotta stop! I don't feel safe, bro. You gotta stop, dude! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, relax. Hey, he got You're done. You gotta stop pulling on me, bro. You gotta, okay, relax. I don't feel safe, bro. Come on, this is dangerous. Relax! We're not gonna me, kill you, relax! Get out of the car! Relax! Hey, I'm out of the car. Look at me. Okay, I'm gonna get off. No. All right, relax. Listen. Get off. Get off the accelerator. Get out of the car. You're gonna get tased right now. Hey, I'm getting tased out, bro. You're getting tased. Tase me, bro. Get out. Don't tase me, bro. Get out of the car. Get out. Okay, let me. I'm in my skirt, bro. No, you're getting out of the car. I'm gonna get out of the car. No. Hey, right now. I'm gonna get out of the car. No. Get out the car. Step out. Step out of the car. Alright, I'm on the ground. Get on the ground now. On the ground now. Alright, alright, bro. Yeah, you almost me. Oh, for what, dude? For what? You can fear all you want. You don't think I was in fear for my life? Secure. Hold on. Ten four one. Secure. Hey, do me a favor. Be some game, dude. What's wrong with you? You got it, bro. You got it. The officer continuously tries to get the man to calm down and avoid crashing the vehicle throughout the whole ordeal. The suspect eventually brought it to the parking lot, where he continued to resist arrest until both officers pulled him out and placed the handcuffs on him. It was later discovered that the Jeep was actually stolen several months before, and the suspect had numerous open warrants, including concealing stolen property and fraud. Get, on, get him off. That's cool. All right, what are you thinking, dude? Cool. Get it, bro. Search him. I want to search him. Car stolen. Is that what it is? Is that you're in? You're in a hot car? Yeah. I'm gonna shut the car off. Oh, I think I blew my knee out. Ah. No, I'm already. Yeah, he's in the back of my partner's car. The suspect had previously been convicted for armed robbery and weapons charges, and alongside his numerous open warrants, he received four more charges, including fourth degree fleeing, eluding, resisting, and obstructing police. May the 18th of 2020, New Haven, Connecticut. Upholding the law is not an easy thing, especially when you have to multitask with two different people on the road in close proximity. Here we have a trooper in a predicament, and despite tailing the driver, he ends up pulling over a different person who flashed a rude hand gesture at him. Hey, 
Can I just ask you why you're riding their butt like that and speeding, man? I'm running his license plate because everybody yeah. else is speeding. Why are you speeding? I was only going 60. Speed limit's 40. The 50. The signs. Okay. Bye bye. Do All right. A favor. Oh, give me the weed too. No, I, I have a. Oh, I, oh, 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 yeah. I have oh, a medical shit. marijuana card. Step out. I have a card. Step out. All right. All right. Stop, man. You want to in your mouth? No problem. You came to the right guy. Step out. All Come right. On. All right. Stop. Come on. The driver asked the trooper why he was tailgating another person and speeding, and the trooper explains he was running the license plate before asking why the suspect was speeding. The driver alleges he was only going 60, but is told the speed limit is capped at 40. Following this, the trooper allegedly detects the smell of a controlled substance, and while the driver explains he's a medical card holder, that doesn't stop the trooper from detaining him regardless. Aren't I just being detained? You're not under arrest. All right. See, the blue car yeah, which one? was tailing me yeah. while I was pacing a tractor trailer looking for a motor vehicle violation because okay. the governor's office has gotten multiple complaints yeah. on traffic stops. I know. Okay? I know that. So we're out doing our thing. Okay. He Just decides to pass me and f me off. All right, Spina, I'm sorry. Man. All right? Yeah, I'm sorry. So the f you think you are worried about what I'm doing? Okay. You're right. I know I'm right, God. Everyone's got something to say. Mind your own god business. You're being. How about I start with that? No. I was following that kid for a reason. And if you hadn't done that stupid stunt, I'd be with him right now. But no, you just couldn't leave it alone, could you? You had to be a American. God help you if there's anything illegal in this car. Is it in the original dispensary container? What? It's broken. Is it in the original dispensary container? No. And you're How's that sound? No Mind your own business next time. Yeah, it's called shut the up. I was driving along, I was gonna head through a simple citation that I keep, but no! You gotta be just couldn't shut your mouth. Where are you going anyway? Where do you work? Where? What's that? It's a, Paper? Yeah, you know, like the liquor bottles and stuff that the, the comes in, like the trays. I promise you, I only have weed in the car. Honest to goodness. And it's all right here in my glove box right here. You ever heard of what a heat seeker is? No. A heat seeker is something that draws attention to itself. Heat seeking missiles, they go for the heat. Did I tell you to move? The trooper shows no mercy in the situation and is screaming all kinds of profanities at the suspect. He also blames the driver, claiming that he was following him for a reason, but the guy ruined it because he had to be an American. Why am I speed? I'm doing my job. Connecticut General Statute 14-298 allows law enforcement officers to disregard the traffic laws in the performance of their duties. How the f am I going to catch a speeder if I'm not speeding? You like for your job at NASA with physics? Where do you want this losing it trashed? I can I can tell. I don't want to get ruined. Unbelievable. It just never ends in this shot. I got 14 months. I can't wait to be done. This ought to tell you why our department instead of having 1300 as 850 right now. There's a clue to the public. What a bunch of you are. Hey, can you 
This was at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic and the trooper is not wearing any kind of PPE. As for the aftermath, an internal affairs investigation would be launched and ended with the trooper being placed on paid administrative leave with no contact to the public. March the 27th of 2021, Northport, Florida. Police pull over a multicolored pickup truck. It had an inoperable rear tail light, a faulty left front headlight, and a broken tag light. And the officer goes to speak to the driver. Howdy. How you doing? Good, ma'am. Good, what good. Seems to be a problem. Um, you have your license, your registration, insurance on what you? Seems to be a problem. You got a headlight out, a tail light out, no tag light. <laughs> I understand it's an old truck, but you got your license, your registration, insurance. It might just be a switch or something, you know. Okay, that's fine. Get your license, your registration, insurance. No. You don't. No. <laughs> oh. Did you leave it? You don't have one? What's it's going on? It's not my truck, ma'am. Okay. Um, it's, it's my driver's license, bro. Okay. Do you, is there a registration or a insurance card for the truck? It's from Texas. It's my friend from Texas. Okay, but that doesn't answer my question. I don't have any. Why not? He never Whatever. gave me. Okay. He did, you know, he said, use the truck, and I used the truck. Well, typically the paperwork is kept in a vehicle, okay? And then second of all, whenever you're in actual physical control of a vehicle that you're driving, you're supposed to be make sure that you have all the proper paperwork for it. I'm not, I'm not saying that you are. I'm just letting you know that I know it's not your truck, but when you're driving a vehicle, you're supposed to have all the paperwork to it. It's your responsibility to make sure you have that. Okay, I'm just letting you know. That's okay. common sense. Right? It is. I understand. So, okay. I'm not stupid. I understand. Do you still live in on North Washington? Yes, ma'am. I do. Okay. Any weapons in the car I need to know about? Nope. Concealed weapon permits nope. or anything? Okay. Give me just a second. I'll be right back with you. The driver claims to have borrowed the truck from a friend, but he doesn't have the paperwork on hand. Its registration had actually expired in March of 2011 and wasn't insured. It might not be his truck. But if he's behind the wheel, he's in big trouble. What the f Why are you shaking your head for, bro? Hey, Robert. Robert? Yes, sir. Um, do me a favor, just step out here. I'm just going to have a conversation with you, okay? Am I under arrest? No, you're not I'm under not arrest. I'm not stepping out there. If okay. I'm not under arrest, I don't need to step out of the vehicle. What do you want me stepping out of the vehicle for? Well, because I'm going to tow the car because it hasn't been registered in 10 years. So I'm trying to be Mom, civil with you and asking we're you to tow, step out we're gonna tow the so I can talk to you it. and then we can to try to money. get you a ride. So I'm asking you to step out of the car. They want they want me to step out of the vehicle so they can impound the vehicle so they can make money. Yeah. They got, make money make for money. what? You're going to make money off of this. This car has not been registered in 10 years, sir. You have no registration for it and no insurance card. Not so I'm going to ask you one more time to step out of the car. If, if I don't step out of the car, there's going to be help paying this car. I've been very nice with you. You've been I nothing but attitude-y since I with me since I pulled mean. you over. You ruined my night. Step out of the car. How am I supposed to? I'm supposed to make like sure this. You're going to tow my truck away. I'm supposed to be okay with make it. Sure I'm you supposed have to be like, oh, hey, let's be best friends. I don't need you to be my best friend, trust well, then me. then you expect me to be in good mood? Register this, your you're car. You're ruining my night. Register your car. And you're not cuffing me. Come on, you're not I'm under arrest. You're not under you're arrest. Come, Come over here. Come over here. As you tow my truck away. Come over here. I'm not putting you in the car. I'm just this asking you to step you off the it. road. You know what the I'm getting my keys out. This is You girls ain't got nothing better to do than harass people that are really breaking the law? Can you get off the road, sir? I'm not breaking any law. Do you have any rides to get you back to oh, where you need to be? Oh, don't worry about that. Just 
me over, okay? Just get it over with. Go on, do your job you want to do. Listen, if, do it. As long as you do it, leave me as alone. As long as you get the car You're going to do it without me it. or not. Okay. The suspect is livid at the fact that his truck is about to be towed, all because it hasn't been registered in over a decade. But according to him, the police are to blame for everything. During his tantrum, the man has been blaming the police nonstop but never considered that keeping the vehicle insured would have prevented all of this. A short while later, the tow truck arrives. Thank you very much! I'm from Sarasota! I come to your city to spend money! Thank you! The Titan Street people that come to your city! your vehicle registered. Thank you, Port Charlotte! Northport. Whatever you guys, you guys Register your vehicle. Right, get on over here. Come on down I-75. Leave Sarasota and come down here and pick up your son in Charlotte Port. North Port. Where the f is? Come on. Yeah, I need a ride because they got nothing better to do than do this to, to someone like me. No, it's There's there's illegal aliens. There's going on. The world's going to. The suspect now blames the tow truck operator for simply doing his job. Thankfully, a supervisor arrives on scene to try and calm down the situation. Oh, my dead body. Listen to me. I don't know why you are so upset, okay? If you're gonna, this is gonna cost me money! If you can listen to what I'm telling you, maybe you'll understand the. Oh, little this is gonna more. cost me money, okay? You're gonna store my car! Listen to me. They're gonna charge me to do this, you need and then they're gonna charge me yourself. to store it in a yard. You need to relax. It's gonna cost me at least $500 listen, for this. Listen, if you're not gonna listen to what I have to say, then I don't know what to tell you, okay? I'm asking you to be nice to me. I am I being will nice pull it to off you. the road. This truck has not been registered or renewed in 10 years. What would it hurt you it's if I pulled it off the road? Your vehicle. You can't show me any proof. No, you gotta do this to me. And you and you can't show me any proof of uh, of insurance. Dude, why do I got to do this? It's an unregistered motor vehicle. You're messing with me. I didn't mess I'm with you. I'm not messing with you. You picked you a fight. I did. And you pulled me over for no good and you, reason. You've got Their no lights light work. on your. No, they I don't. I can turn them on right now. Both of them work. I need you to step over to the sidewalk, please. We got a woman here that pulled me over for me driving an old truck for me in town trying to spend money. Okay. Okay, I'm just, I was in a good mood all at this point. Okay. I've been harassed all my life by police officers. I am not going to take this Okay, have you been harassed by us? I have not been arrested by your Charlotte Port or whatever you guys are. Well, I'm just telling you straight up. I've had issues with you guys, and you guys aren't my friends. And I'm going to tell you right now, she's not nice. Because if she was nice, she would have just give me a warning to let me go or let me pull my truck into private property. The field training officer tries to set the record straight for the suspect. His supposed friend's truck is not insured, and therefore it's getting towed. But the driver's not happy unless he gets the outcome that he wants. Yeah, it's going over there. You want the information? Where's my driver's license? She has it. Does the uh, registered owner live down here in the state of Florida? No, he comes and visits. Okay, so when he comes down, he has to show proof of ownership to get the truck out. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Okay. It's going to take weeks to do this, dude. $25 a day? You think this is going to be cheap? You think I, I'm I happy about this? I don't know how much this is. is okay, I understand you're upset. No, you don't understand. I, I do it's going to cost me a lot of money. Well, this is your friend's truck, so you're going to have to work with him to get the vehicle out. But then you have to get it re-registered with the state of Texas. Because it expired 10 years ago. It's not my truck! Okay. You he has to get it registered, okay. not me! Correct. You were driving the vehicle, though. Okay. Yes, I was! You're responsible for the vehicle and its contents. Okay. Oh, really? Well, not anymore. It looks like you guys are. Well, we're not. Oh, and you're not responsible zero, zero, for the contents zero, that are inside zero, now? Nine, Talent zero, towing. Six, two, oh, they're responsible for the contents that are inside my truck. It's going right over here. Just kick me and go ahead and go ahead and leave. Just kick, pull me over, kick me, tell me to, and drive away. We're not gonna say that. That's what you're doing. We're not gonna say that's that. That's what you just did. We're not gonna do any of that. Every one of you just did this to me. Every one of you just kicked me and told me to go. That's what you did. Not, not one of us did that. Oh yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, this is a kick in the. You could have been nice, but you didn't. All you don't want to be nice to me. 
You're not being nice. We've said nothing. Period, dude. You're the one losing your right now. No, right. well, because no. you're. Not you're all be around. Not one of us has raised our voice to you at all today. You don't have to. Okay. Because you didn't do nothing wrong, right? Huh? No, I did. If you I, didn't. You never so, do nothing wrong. If I did nothing wrong. Uh, you're a cop. You don't do nothing wrong, if right? I did, if I I'm the guy doing something wrong. Why am I raising my voice? That's what I'm trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, because I'm happy. Okay. I'm happy. Okay. The suspect's freakout continues to the point where he decides to call 911. That misuse of 911 will only add an additional charge. Is he calling 911? Uh, I believe it's Porch, uh, North Porch. Uh, what's the street? Pan American, sir. Pan American. They wouldn't let me add a tow truck money that is paid by or if North Port, or they're going to arrest me. Put your hands behind your back. Why are you arresting me? Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Why? Why? Put your hands behind your back now. God, I'm not resisting. resisting. I'm not resisting. Yes, you are. Put your hands behind your back now. The suspect was charged with misuse of 911, resisting an officer without violence, violation of financial responsibility for property damage, and refusal to accept and sign a citation. All of them are misdemeanors, and the first two would be dropped while he pleaded guilty to having no insurance.